Good morning, grade 12. Good morning, grade 12. Today we're going to do the interpretation of third degree graphs. Uh, the interpretation of the third grade graphic. Come on, look at this graphic. Here is for us a point on the graph, point, and also snipe point on the x-axis, and there is also a snipe point here so on the y-axis. This is point B, and the name of the function is minus x to the third, and plus 4x squared plus 11x minus 30. First question: Determine the length of AC. To determine the length of IC, I need to know this coordinate and that, that coordinate to be able to, to measure the distance. So, on the right coordinate to create, this is the x-absnit, and on the x-absnit to create, make us for 1, 0. So, x-absnit, make for 1, 0. Let's quickly go through the whole process again. So we start by getting the first factor of this third degree polynomial. Um, the makkelijkste is, kom ons gaan eerste en ons, ons maal dwarsteer met minus 1 om om positief te kry. So ons het x to die derde mag min 4x kwadraat minus 11x plus 30. Dis gelijk aan 0. Goed, now we are going to look for the first factor. And by doing that, we're going to do substitution in our heads. We're going to try 1. If we substitute 1 into the place of x, the answer is not 0. So x minus 1 is near factor. Now we probeer ons minus 1. If you substitute minus 1 into the place of x, the answer is also not going to be 0. So the first factor is not x plus 1. So now it's ons by 2 here. And when we do two substitutions in here, okay, then we see that it is true. Is. So our first factor is x minus 2. x minus 2, that's the first factor, that's the x axis. Don't get confused there. 2, if you substitute 2 into this equation, you get 0. So the first factor is x minus 2. And then it was ax squared plus bx plus c is like a null. So let's start there. x times x squared gives me x cubed. So a equals 1. So we can a and vervang me 1. So now that minus 2 mal met wat give me plus 30. So I get here so minus 50. And now I'm going to determine the value of B. So we must do the double smiley then, and we'll say min 2 mal x squared is min 2 x squared. x mal b x is b x squared. And if I add it up, it must give me minus 4 x squared. So what would b be? B would be like this on minus 2. Minus 2. Now I can factorize the whole the trinomial as well. And if I do that factorization, it's going to be x plus 3, x minus 5. So the three x intersects will be 2 or minus 3 or plus 5. So now we can insert it on our sketch. Um, the minus 1 will be minus 3, 0. Then we've got the 2, 0. And then we've got a 5, 0. Okay. So that's determining the x intercepts, the question was the length of ac, the length of ac, van of minus 3 tot by 5, so ons het 5, the length of ac is dan 5, minus minus 3, en dis gelijk aan 8 eenhede, 8 units. Good, die volgende vraag is, bereken die koordinate van e en f? Coordinate van E en F, 
Dit is die draaipunte, twee stationaire punte. So hoe bereken ons dit? To get the stationary points, we must get the first derivative and equal it to zero. Want die, die afgeleide, die eerste afgeleide is die gradiente van die raakleine en die gradiente van die raakleine by die draaipunt is 0. So we're going to get the first derivative. Dit is my minus 3x kwadraat plus 8x plus 11 and then we're going to equal it to 0 because that's the the, 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 the um, gradient of the tangent so ons kan dwars die oorsomme klaar gaan maal met minus 1 en dan kan ons gaan factoriseer om die 2x waardes te kry so let's factorize that that trinomial to get um, to get the 2x values of the turning points so that's going to be 3x minus 11 and x plus 1. So, ons het 3x minus 11 is gelijk aan 0, of x plus 1 is gelijk aan 0, so ons twee draaipunte is 11 op 3, of min 1. 11 op 3 is dan 3 en 2 derdes. So, to get the y values, that, that goes with that x values, we're going to do substitution in the original fx. So, ons gaan 3 en 2 derdes in x plek inset, substitutie doen, en dan, as ons die ei maaikie vir hom uitwerk, is het 400 op 27. Be careful that if you do the substitution, that you get the correct values. Ok, goed, en as ons minus 1 substitutie in doen, kry ons minus 36. Ok. Goed, so ons kan hier die waardes gaan inset. E, that will be the negative 1, minus 1, minus 36. And that turning point over there, we can keep it as fractions, 11 on 3 and 400 on 27. Okay, that's our two stationary points. Goed, volgende vraag is, bereken die x-coordinaat van die buigpunt. Bereken die x-coordinaat van die buigpunt. Remember, krijg 12 in a sketch, they don't show the point of inflection. Hy is hier ergens, maar hulle wees vol nie. Hulle wees vol nie. So, ek gaat vir hom uitwerk, en dan gaan ek, oh, kan ek, oh, kan ek hom net gaan inteken as hulle vraag, maar hulle vraag nie, en moet nie, they only ask the term in the x value of the point of inflection. So, um, we get that, to do that, we get the second derivative. Okay. Let's just quickly do this again. So we get the second derivative. Minus 6x plus 8. We equal that to 0. And that x value is the x value of the inflection point. So that gaan wees 6 minus 6x is gelijk aan minus 8. And the x waarde is 8 op. 6. That's the x value of the inflection point. And remember, you may not ever, ever leave a fraction unsimplified. So simplify it to 4 on 3. That's 1 and a third. So approximately over here, there's going to be an inflection point. The volgende vraag is, is hulle vraag, bepaal die vergelijking van die raaklijn aan die punt D. Hier is ons een raaklijn aan die punt D, daar is D. Daar is een tangent, let's draw it in. Hier is een tangent, daar at the point D, and they ask 
determine the equation of that tangent. Okay, so we know that equals the gradient of any tangent, the first derivative. So to get that x value, if we've got the, the, the x, we've got the x value there, remember what's the x value there. We know at point D, that's the y-intercept, so we know the value of that y-intercept, it's 0 minus 30. We know that. So to get the, the, the tangent of the equation, we're going to take the first derivative, and we're going to substitute the x value into the first derivative, and that's 0. So we're going to for 0, binnen in die eerste afgeleide instel om die gradient van die raaklijn by punt D te kry, want punt D se x waarde is 0. So ons het minus 3, 0 kwadraat, plus 8 mal 0, plus 11, so die gradient van die raaklijn is 11. En, nou het ons ook een goede koordinaat, 0 min 30, so ons kan gebruik ons vergelijke, M, I is gelijk aan, um, Ons kan, ons kan ons vergelijking gebruik wat ons moet goed uit ons koppe uit ken. And that equation is the equation y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Kijk, kom ons doen substitie. My y waarde is minus 30. Hou ons y waarde, so my y waarde is minus, minus 30, so hy word een plus. My gradient is 11, my x waarde behou ons en die x afsnit is 0. So dit is minus 0, so nou kan ek gaan sê, y is gelijk aan 11x minus 30. Dit is die vergelijking van my raaklijn, that goes through the point D. But can you see, that this tangent is also going through this third degree function somewhere there. So as I now feel from what is the waarde van die punt waar wat wat die uh, raak lijn nou weer dier die funksie gaan, wat sal ek doen? Ek sal my derde graadse vergelyking vat minus x to die derde mag plus 4x kwadraat plus 11x minus 30 en ek sal hom gaan gelijk stel aan my raaklijnse vergelijking. So I'll equal it to 11x minus 30. Then I'll get the x value of the point of intersection. So as ons gaan kyk, het ek hier so dan een minus x to die derde mag plus 4x kwadraat Ek het 11x in al twee kante wat uitkanseleer, en min 30 in al twee kante wat uitkanseleer, so that equals 0, so I can factorize minus x squared, dan het ek x minus 4 is gelijk aan 0. So, minus x kwadraat, minus x kwadraat is gelijk aan 0, x is gelijk aan 0, of x is gelijk aan 4. So we've got that x equals 0, point of intersection. So that coordinate over there must then be the value 4. And now we can substitute that value 4 in the tangent equation. Want hy is makkelijker, is makkelijker om die... Om die um, om sommer in die vergelijking van die raaklijn te gaan inset. So 11 is, ach, y is gelijk aan 11 maal 4 minus 30, en dit gee 44 minus 30, so sy y maaikie is dan 14. So the other point of interception of the tangent with the third degree function will then be the point 4, 14. Ok, so hulle het net die x-waarde gevra, so het was nie nodig om die y-waarde uit te werk nie. En nou gaan ons kyk na klomp verskillende vraagies van die snijdings van die funksies.
Okay, let's quickly look at the following questions. First question is, determine where F is ascending. Where is F stijgend? Now, here is Fx dalet, daar begin hy, daar draai hy, so hy stijg nog nie. Van na dit stijg hy, so dit is waar x element is, van na minus 1, en hy stijg, 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 tot by hierdie draaipunt sy x waarde, tot by 11 op 3. Ronde hakkie, because at the turning point it's not ascending of these, or descending, so dit is waar hy stijg. Volgende vraag, was fx groter of gelijk aan 0? Was fx groter of gelijk aan 0? Met andere woorde, waar hulle jy aan die boekant van die, van die, van die x-as? At the upper side of the x-ax. So that's going to be, and let's quickly see, uh, it's from minus infinity, And then there's a equal zero as well. And I'll gaan hy tot by minus 3. And minus 3 is dan ingesluit. Square bracket. Then from 2 or from 2 then up to 0.5 and it's both included. Lea hy aan die boekant van die x-as. Goed. Next question, where's the derivative, the derivative, this is now very important, waar is die afgeleide kleiner as 0? Now, grade 12s, this is now where your learning work comes in. This is now verskrikkelijk belangrijk, dat jy moet weet, Wanneer die eerste afgeleide groter is as 0, beteken dit, dit is waar jou oorspronkelijke funksie fx stuig. That's learning work. When the first derivative is smaller, nou, smaller than 0, it's where it's decreasing by daal. As hy groter as 0 is, is dit waar hy stuig. So hierdie ene is waar hy daal. So kom ons gaan kyk, waar daal hierdie funksie? Alle x-waardes van minus oneindig tot voor min 1, daar daal ek, going downwards. Of van na 11 op 3 tot by oneindig. That's where the function is decreasing. Very, very, very important. Goed. Okay, let's see the next question. Where's fx times the derivative of f smaller than 0? So the derivative of x smaller than 0. So that means if both are positive, it's going to be bigger than 0. So one must be negative and the other one positive. So that means this guy must be above the x-axis And that guy must be descending. Hy moet daal. So waar is die funksie? Boek aan die x-as en hy daal. Okay, because it's a plus times a minus. So there it's above the x-ax. And it's going downwards. Now it's underneath the x-ax. So hy gaan nie hier werk nie. So dit is net van minus oneindig tot voor minus 3. Kijk, of. Now it's, it can be the other way around, where it's negative, or it is ascending. So hier is hy negatief, maar hy daal. So a min en a min gee plus, that's not gonna work. 
But from that turning point, it's now the function is underneath the x-axis, so it's negative, but it's now ascending my stuck. So from there to there, so that is for x greater is as min 1, tot waar x gelijk is aan 2, daar gaan dit wees minus functie, die functie is minus, maar nou stuig. So stuig beteken plus, en die functie is minus. Min plimale plus is het kleiner as 0. Then, it's going upwards, but the function is also at the top. So dit is a plus male plus, so dit gaan nie werk. Daar, die functie is positief, van daar tot daar, maar hy daal. So nou gaan ek weer sê, of waar x element is van 11 op 3 tot voor 5. Ok, but there the function is negative and it's going downwards, so that's my three answers. Daai oukie is baie, baie belangrik graad 12, maak seker asjeblief dat jylle dit baie goed verstaan. Next question, for what values of k will fx equals k, so I'm equaling this third degree function to k, so this is my i waarde, see this is my i waarde, so k is now in the plek van i, that's very important to understand. Sal hy twee verskillende wortels he, Will it have two different roots? Now, when your fx equals k, then you use a ruler. And you shift your ruler upwards and downwards on your function. So let's quickly take the page, my ruler. And I want to know where will this fx, this function, will have two different roots. Two different roots. Okay. If you take your ruler over there, let's start at the top. At the top of the function, this function is going onwards until forever. Agree? And that one as well. So if you are exactly there, then this function will exactly have two different roots. The one will be there, x value, and the other one will be there, x value. So, so for what values of k? So I need the y value because k is now y. So that's going to be where k equals, what's the y value there? 400 on 27. If you go downwards, can you see? Dan sal 1, 2, 3. So ek soek 2. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Now, again, there's only 2. Where's that k value? That's where y equals minus 30. So it's going to be where k equals minus 30. Only that two k values. Volgende vraag. Drie verschillende reële wortels. Drie, three different real roots. So I've seen there's two, there's two. And in between, there's three roots all the time. This is the two waardes. So waar is dit, waar k element is, vanaf minus 30 all the way up to 400 on 27. Gaan daar drie wortels fix. And the, the last one, only one real root, where k is going to be above 11 on 3. So where k is going to be greater than, than 11 on 3. And remember, if you use in, uh, this notation, uh, build a set notation, k is an element of r. Write it next to it. Always. Anderset, en dan ook natuurlijk, kleiner as minus 30. So you can so ook skryf, I like this method, then it's not necessary to write that. So it's smaller, 
minus infinity up to minus 30. Then it's not necessary to write k element of r. Good, then the last question. For what the values of f, so the graphic, a is related to fx plus 2, what the values of t, so the graphic, Met andere woorden, it's moving upwards. Twee negatieve x-afsnit en één positieve x-afsnit. For what values of t? Meaning, how far must must this function move upwards or downwards, so that there's only one negative and one positive root? Hoe moet hier die functie op of af skuif? Wat moet die waarde van t wees? So dat daar net 1 positief